Mm-hmm. Okay, so um, I went to the doctor, the ER at Memorial. Mm-hmm. Check on the eye, got an ulcer or a scratch, whatever you want to call it, on it somehow. Don't know how. Don't scratch mine. <laughs> I know. If I I told you I wash it before I touch it, right? My hands and my I know. This both hand soap from the thing, the bottle and ivory soap, right? <laughs> so I use ivory soap in the bedroom, and then if I'm in here, I'll use the um, hand sanitizer, hand hand type soap, right? So I went to the mall after the um thing and walked the whole mall kind of right. Well, I walked so far and then I had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Used the family room because it was probably the closest right. Um then I went to the um Macy's side and I sat down for about five minutes. Two minutes, five minutes. And then I went um, the rest of the way through JC Penny and the um through the belt, so that's where I started. Um so like I said, when I feel sore what I do is I'll rest a little bit, right? And then I when I feel I get stronger I try to get stronger too, right? I ain't been really walking as much in December in not even the fifteen minutes, right? Mm-hmm. So I managed to walk pretty much through the whole store except for a two five minute break. So I, I don't know. Right. Mm -hmm. So I got some drops from the doctor, right? Gonna continue the treatment. Mm hmm. And treat a little bit of everything. Mm hmm. Mm. So the real's home. Right. With Oliver Saunders dead for the win. Drew Barrymore, we run. Maury. Open decades of denial will end today with the results on the test DNA. Ellen and Dr. Field are rerun. The G's new. Mm -hmm. They're suing over COVID ruined their wedding. <laughs> Family feud, family feud, mm -hmm. people's court, the Goldbergs, the Goldbergs, Springer. Mm -hmm. So, um, I might go back out to my sister's again on Monday. I like the um, hamburger steak, rice and vegetable. Mm -hmm. um, I did that. Um, Monday, Tuesday, I did the pork chops with the cream corn and red potatoes. And then yesterday, I did the, um, chicken fingers, the four-piece chicken fingers and some fuds, right? Now, mm -hmm. it did take him a while to get it out. <laughs> I know. Mm hmm. So I don't know, right? Mm hmm. Well, I'm tr trying to watch my time, so I know I left at around 3 30 to 3 45. I should have gotten there, and then I didn't leave to about 4 22, right? That's to make sure I'm not backing out or anything, right? <laughs> <clears throat> Since the nail salon, right? Uh, 
Um, what I got to prove, though, is malice, right? If Officer Ma Martin did what he did in malice, right? Because someone got him to do it like the bus driver. <laughs> and they were in cahoots to make it my fault. Mm-hmm. Because, see, he didn't exactly arrive on the scene on time, right? They tried to make it all my fault because I was turning left. Like, I don't have a turning lane there, right? When I do, when you do. Your turning lane is supposed to be given to you if you're taking a left-hand turn, right? And it's between the arc from the turn itself until the um, straight driver's, you know, lane. <laughs> so what that means is the driver can go straight. Mm -hmm. You yield the right of way in the turn. <laughs> That's what I was trying to tell Officer Martin. Now, if my eye was twenty twenty, it probably would look this bad, right? <laughs> But like I was trying to explain to him, but he kind of wouldn't listen to them. He just kind of shut me off, right, and started tending to the bus driver. Now, I don't know if he did that in malice, which is what the court said I had to prove, right? But if he did do it in malice, because <laughs> he knows me from a previous wreck or something, right, and is trying to make the second wreck my fault just because... I'm disabled. He can't do that. That could show malice. See, if we had uh, another rat together, <laughs> where it was weird again, I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, the first one involved a couple out of state who were trying to make a left-hand turn in the straight lane. <laughs> I tried to tell him something like that too, I think. <laughs> and they were stopped in the wrong lane. Mm -hmm. Now what happened this time is I stopped in my lane, didn't enter her side of the road, right? In the arc of what's called the left-hand turn where you can safely yield the right of way to oncoming traffic <laughs> before completing the turn, right? You know what I mean? When sometimes you pull out so far and you can stop, right? Now that's called yielding the right of way. You know what it is. And the person can go straight, right? That's what that's for. Also, if you yield it at the right place, people can even drive around you and make their turn in and out of Rice Creek subdivision, right? And into the public, right? Right. That's what I was trying to do, Officer Martin, that day, right? That's what I'm trying to explain to you. Right? And someone's on my case about it. It could be my ex wife who ain't supposed to be around me either, either, by the way. You know? She could be doing it, Malice. Because something's going on I'm not aware of. <laughs> I'm not a party to, right? I don't know what even happened, right? And someone keeps bringing up my stepdaughter over and over again and pretending to me, right? When all I would have meant to was by being around her, I could have molested her but didn't, right? You know, I know that's a possibility, but I don't do such things, right? That's what I would mean there, too, right? Now, I can't not talk about my ex-wife and her stepdaughter at all. It's not like they weren't married. I wasn't married to the mother. I didn't meet the daughter for about a weekend, right? That's it. That's it. <laughs> Anything more is just, you know, to me, someone acting crazy about my breathing brown for less than four days. Right? About the same amount of time her dad had her as well, right? Because um, she was with her dad before she even was around me, right? And uh, my ex-wife would have to draw them all the way from Arkansas to Virginia, I know, uh, and probably start Sunday morning, right, after she got in, right? Probably late, probably sometime Saturday afternoon, right? Well, the first thing she would do is, you know, <laughs> try and get some sleep, because she has to do basically a non-stop drive all the way to Arkansas by herself, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> Which, you know, I hope 
you know, as soon as she got there, she just went to sleep and, or got something to eat and then went to sleep, right? And then the following day, just drove back, right? Well, we would have had to do that anyway because I had to be back by Monday. She's just talking about two weeks leave, which I don't know nothing about that because I was in Bethesda for two weeks, Daphne. <laughs> that was an unplanned, scheduled <laughs> intervention, right? Or, yeah, on my behalf, right? Because I started being able to, able to speak and uh, became incoherent. <laughs> I don't know. I was kind of struck by something like that. Mm -hmm. It was more speaking in tongues, right? Which I demonstrated before. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, again, mm -hmm. so I bought some bananas again. I got some microwave meals for the weekend, right? Tomorrow I'm going to do a stew. Mm -hmm. um, some pot roast with potatoes and carrots and rice and the sour peas. <laughs> um, this time I just got some pot roast already pre-made and going to put it all in the uh, pot mm -hmm. add a little bit of water for the potatoes and then season them right with a little bit of salt pepper um, some uh, <clears throat> low sodium stuff too for it but just a little bit of salt not a lot less than not even a quarter teaspoon right no no <laughs> right <laughs> yeah yeah Mm hmm But see, that's the problem, though. Here's the question, doctors. Does everyone who gets bigger, even if you're a bodybuilder, right, for example, right, do we all get high blood pressure because the blood needs more force to be pumped from the, the body? Because <laughs> you're bigger, not smaller. Mm hmm Now, I know you think it's ideal to be a certain blood pressure, right, for smaller men, maybe, you know. But what if you get bigger and start lifting weights and the same thing happens, right? You're supposed to be in better shape in the way, too, you know, but are bigger, right? That's my question. <laughs> Do we again, I don't know, <laughs> um, when we even lift weights, get bigger and does our blood pressure go up because our body has to pump more blood through the body. Right? And I'm trying to get you to think about that before you go trying to give us lower blood pressure when we might need higher blood pressure for a reason. Uh -oh. You might could be shortening our life that way too and I saw people die on medication like that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm guessing. Right? I don't know. But so are you, aren't you? <laughs> but are you really looking at it logically, right? If every bigger guy has higher blood pressure, it's because their blood body does have to pump more blood through the body, huh? Right? Even with women, right? right? Even obese women or even women bodybuilders, because they have more muscle mass, might need a higher blood pressure to pump the blood through the body. <laughs> Does that mean it's something good or bad? <laughs> well, if you make it bad, then it's good, right? You could be sending us to an early grave. Because <laughs> you think it's supposed to be lower. <laughs> or lower. Mm -hmm. Compared to who? A smaller frame body type. Right? When I was smaller, yeah, my blood pressure was what? Lower. Lower. <laughs> now that I'm bigger, it's what? More commands higher, right? Is that true for most big men? <laughs> Maybe it's supposed to be that way. You're monkeying with it and killing us <laughs> and sending us to an early grade. <laughs> Just FYI. <laughs> I don't know, right? But usually people are fine until you try to medicate them on all that stuff, right? Too. No, they don't even worry about it, right? 
You do. You do. By cause and worry. When a bigger person gets a higher blood pressure, are you looking at it logically if everybody who's bigger does that? Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> We're not no longer a small frame person, right? Even if you're little, mm -hmm. do you compare a big child to a small child? No, you don't do that, right? Why don't you? They're not the same frame. They're not the same size. Right? You're also causing a division between the big and the small children. Right? In other words, you're not letting the big children be big simply what they are or the look smaller children what they are. Mm -hmm. And looking at them as they're supposed to be the same when they're not the same. Right? If you know what I mean. <laughs> and maybe you're sending us all to an early grade. <laughs> In your zest to make us the same when we're not the same. You're lowering the blood pressure of the bigger person, which means less blood is pumping through his body. Mm -hmm. When he might need the more blood <laughs> pumping through his body. I know. The higher pressure, because he's bigger, he's bigger. <laughs> Just something I'm asking. <laughs> if you're really thinking about mm -hmm. And that makes us paranoid. We're doing something wrong, right? What did I say is the mind killer? Fear, fear. We think we're doing something wrong that's going to hurt us. And if we all are big and we all got high blood pressure, is there a reason for that? I don't know. <laughs> are we supposed to have higher blood pressure for me? Right? And are you thinking about that for our health or for the health of a skinny person? They shouldn't have high blood pressure. <laughs> They're skinny. But a bigger person... Let's have a lot more pressure. Right. <laughs> and like I said, when I was smaller, my blood pressure was normal. Right. Now that I'm big, it's higher. Right. You act like something's wrong with that. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. Am I the same as I was when I was a little boy? No. No. <laughs> but my blood pressure was fine then, too. Right. <laughs> But lower for a child's blood pressure, right? Where that's supposed to be. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Does it change? Right. It gets higher when we what? Get bigger. It gets slower when we what? Get smaller. <laughs> too, too. Is it supposed to be that way? That <laughs> If you get bigger. Uh-huh. Should it go up if you have more mass? <laughs> right? <laughs> And go down when you're small. And then, right. You're not pumping more blood? Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> you're just assuming that the skinny person and the fat person should have the same blood pressure. <laughs> Why? <laughs> That's what I mean about a medical error, <laughs> such as blood pressure medication, right? You think something's wrong with the big person who has a higher blood pressure than the skinny person. Why? <laughs> who told you that? Someone who doesn't like fat people? <laughs> I think if we should have a blood pressure like a thin person, should we? <laughs> Are you trying to kill us? By lowering our blood pressure, we need the higher blood pressure. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm making us think something's wrong. <laughs> It's called thinking outside the box. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> right. It's just the point, right? 